Come on, John. Todd's dangerous, and you know it. Blair fell off a roof because of him. She lost a child because of him. She's not going to be able to protect Marcy and Tommy if, if Todd goes ballistic. He won't hurt her. And you know this how? He won't jeopardize hurting his son, not, not now that he's so close to finding him. Oh, come on, John. How many people have gotten hurt because they got in this guy's way? John, choose me this time. Choose your bro. I've been choosing you my whole life. I'm not going to stop now. Trust me. Getting Ramsey out of the equation was the best thing I could do for Marcy. How about I liberate a little bottle of bourbon over here, and we'll make ourselves comfortable until Clint and Bo get back. Now, booze is something I can drink to. Unfortunately, Commissioner Buchanan was unable to make the trip. Fine. When Clint gets back, tell him that Alex and David Vickers need to have a word with you. I already told you. The family has been... Excuse me? It's perfectly all right. Don't bother about me. I'll find Clint all by myself. Now, wait, Dr. Lord. No, 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 no. I can't wait to get out of this room. Uh, oh, boy. Angel, I have enjoyed spending every waking moment with you since we got married, but I'm a little worried about Dorian out there in the dark all by herself. Mm. She might drop down a mine shaft or get rustled by outlaws. <gasps> What a loss that would be. Fine. Go make sure she doesn't get eaten by a coyote, and I'll have a little private word with Nigel. Oh. You take care of my angel, okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Mrs. Vickers, I'll have that room made up. Knock it off, Nigel. You and I both know that I have taken back my rightful mantle as Mrs. Alex Olenoff Buchanan. Cheers. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't mean to grab you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Slippery little devil, isn't he? <sighs> okay. Can I have your flask? You need liquid courage to get back on this horse? No, I, I need liquid for heat, not for courage. Oh. Why didn't you tell me you were cold? Oh, well, we were kind of busy. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Is that better? Yeah. All right. That's great. Can I have your flask? I don't have one. Yes, you do. Yes. Don't even try to tell me you don't. You've got one. Nora. I knew it. It's all bourbon. That's perfect. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. I still think it would have been good for Bo to be here. It would have helped him. Bo's got that thing with Asa, and he doesn't let go of things very easily. Besides, he's taking care of Lindsay. Come on, the woman's at St. Anne's. Oh, please, Clint, you of all people know. Never underestimate Lindsay. She would never let something so trivial as sanity stand in the way of between her and Beau. You know, they started out as friends, and... And then uh, something happened. Yeah. I guess they're trying to figure out what to do about it. But there they are. Trying to make things work. That's what friends do. Are you saying that there could be more than that? Who are we talking about? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking <sighs> Nigel, about. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. I'm sure that Asa is smiling down on you right now because of your enduring loyalty. Don't feel bad. As a former FAB agent, I would have ferreted out the truth sooner or later. And what truth would that be? That my lawfully wedded husband, David Vickers, is Asa Buchanan's son. I have to admit that I didn't expect to see much of him once you and Bo got divorced. Yeah, it was kind of a rough divorce, wasn't it? A lot of hard feelings. And then I got so sick. You know, when people get sick, Sometimes you realize how much you want them in your life. Who are we talking about now, Clint? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Welcome to 
Paris. Oh, finally. What are you doing? To that motel? I'm tired. That's fine, I guess. I'm hungry. Check out the diner. Huh. Bonjour. Just got the little Eiffel Tower and everything. <laughs> I love these tacky little podunk towns. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. If they're serving, we're eating. I don't know who these people are or what they want, but I promise you I'm going to keep you safe, okay? Because I know that there are people already out there looking for us, okay? They know I'm missing. What, what, what do you mean? Like, like, like John? Yes. Okay. He's gonna find us. He has to. Let's go. Get out. Mike. I'll call you later. Now, that was a heartwarming family scene there, John. I know Caitlin would have been touched. You want to talk about the past or you want to do the job? Oh, all I care about is hitting my target. And all I care about is bringing Marty and Cole home. Uh -huh. 